With this video, we're going to take a look into the scheduling policies, work rules, as well as actions that are available as part of Field Service Lightning. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to the guided setup page within Salesforce Field Service, and you want to navigate to the six customized scheduling policies. From here, click on a policy or add your own. And from here, this allows us to be able to describe the policy and then understand the work rules. And a quick overview on work rules is when you are trying to book a service appointment, understanding and creating filters for what resources, what service resources are going to be a good fit. And what you don't want is baked right within work rules. Now below that we have service objectives. Now service objectives is a little bit different. So once you've got those resources that are going to be the best fit, let's take a deeper dive and understand what their distance looks like, how fast can they get there, the skill level needed, or if there's another preferred resource. All of that is just determined through service objectives and you can change the weighting right from this page. So let's just say I want to up the weight of skill level what this will do is it will update in real time let's just say i want to i want to really minimize overtime so that's going to be weighted even more so we can do a lot of work and configuration with this piece here now when you've configured your policy through this page what you can do is you can go back into salesforce over here to the scheduling policies page and we'll click on customer first since that's what we were before. And again, the same thing that we saw on the back end, we see the same thing here. And we're able to see all those work rules that are associated and those policy objectives. So if I come and view all for these rules and we go to resource availability, what this allows me to do is to understand any implications. So we see we have automatic break scheduling and the travel time. So that's all gonna fit in to all of the service members within a given territory. So you see that we have all through this relevancy group. Now what the relevancy group object looks for on a service territory member for a service appointment is a checkbox. And we can use that to filter down these work rules even more. And just to give you an idea of creating a new work rule and what that looks like. So we have a lot of different options on different work rules to choose from, and they're really all dependent on attributes, skills, location of that service appointment. And then if we go back to the customer first policy and click on ASAP, we see essentially the same thing that we saw on guided setup is the goal and then the weight. And then who it applies to. It applies to all service territory members. If we come back over into customer first, we can then see the weight there. So when you are working through this flow within your own organization to determine how resources will be allocated. Um, take a look into work rules as well as what the objectives. So it's almost a first and second tier of weight when you are determining what service resource should be sent out to the field.